One week before the Canadian Grand Prix, there was uncertainty over holding the event with the ongoing wildfires due to the dry climatic condition. But everything changed when it came to the Grand Prix weekend, and it was totally affected by wet weather conditions. The biggest effect was on the qualifying session, which resulted in some unexpected outcomes. Despite all the drama throughout the race weekend, Verstappen was able to deliver his usual performance, handing over the 100th victory to the Red Bull team. Through this video, we are going to discuss how the Canadian Grand Prix unwraps in detail. But before that, please make sure to subscribe to our channel to get more interesting updates related to Formula 1 racing. The qualifying session started with uncertainty about the climatic situation as the rain affected the whole weekend very badly. Teams had no proper idea about the selection of tyre compounds for qualifying as the track appeared to be slippery since the beginning. Overcoming all these challenges, Max Verstappen was able to secure the pole and it has been recorded as his 25th career pole. Even though Nico Hülkenberg was able to secure a front raw position in the starting grid just a few seconds after the Piastri's crash in Q3, he was given a time penalty for not obeying the red flag. He was dropped to P5, pushing Alonso and Hamilton one more position close to Verstappen. All eyes were on the former McLaren teammates Hamilton and Alonso, as they always gave a better fight against each other in every occasion when they met in the middle of the race. Hamilton had a very far start overtaking Alonso, but the Spaniard was closely following him to reclaim the lost position. The biggest loser at the start was Hülkenberg, who recorded the second best time during qualifying. First, he was overtaken by Ocon, and within a few minutes, Hülkenberg dropped to P10, as his Haas challenger never possessed enough pace to compete with the top of the pack. Another battle was going in the middle of the pack, where Perez was racing against Sainz as both were looking for the top finish after a poor qualifying session. The first retirement of the session was Logan Sargent, who had to park his Williams by the side of the track because of a sudden oil leak from his challenger in lap number 7. Russell made a big error on lap 12 by driving his car over the curb of turn 9 and the Mercedes driver lost control of his car, tapping the barrier with his front wing and also damaging the right rear wheel too. The race director immediately called for a safety car session as the debris of the collision was all over the track. This was used by most of the drivers as an opportunity to switch into a fresher set of rubber. Another incident happened between Hamilton and Alonso when Hamilton's Mercedes emerged suddenly from the pit in front of Alonso, causing the threat of a possible collision between these two. When the race was resumed, bigger changes happened in the midfield. It all began with Lando's move against Piastri. Albon tried to overtake Magnussen, but it became unsuccessful as the Williams driver experienced a huge lockup. Russell, who was in a recovery drive after his collision with the barrier, was ordered to enter the pit for retirement because of a brake concern in his challenger. The Ferrari duo were able to make huge progress during the race after a poor qualifying by pushing their cars into fourth and fifth positions. When there were five more laps to go, Alonso was able to complete an overtake against Hamilton thanks to the DRS on the final straight and Hamilton had not enough pace to defend it. Alonso was able to maintain that position till the end of the race, pushing his former teammate to third position. There was a small fear over Verstappen's victory when he had a short journey over the curbs in turn 8-9 where Russell made a similar type of error. Perez, who started the race as 12th in the grid, was able to push his challenger to the 6th place in the final standings and also record the fastest lap of the race thanks to the fresher set of soft rubber pitted in the latter part of the race. Behind Perez, Albon, Ocon, Bottas and Piastri were able to finish the race, collecting some important points to their championship standings. Regardless of weather conditions, it was yet another easy win for Verstappen, extending his championship lead up to 69 points over Perez. It was another heartbreaking weekend for Perez, and his championship hopes now seem to be fading away slowly. After experiencing a considerable decline in performance, Aston Martin has come back to its usual rhythm thanks to its Montreal upgrade package. Formula One is ready for Red Bull's home race 
race in Austria in two weeks' time, and let's see whether Hamilton or Alonso can deliver a surprise there by beating Verstappen in their home race. That's the end of today's story, and stay with us more closely by subscribing to the channel to get more interesting updates related to Formula One. Goodbye.